So, you want to delete your Google Apps domain. That's a little sad, but I digress. If you really want to go through with this, here's how. First, log into your domain's admin console at admin.google.com and delete all of your users except for your one administrator account. You can export any user data you want to save by clicking right here. If you're on a mobile device and can't see my handy annotations, I've added the links in the video details below. Good, now it's just you and me. Kind of lonely, isn't it? Maybe some new music will help liven up the mood. Eh, I actually like the old stuff better. Hope you don't mind. Okay, so now you need to go ahead and delete all of your secondary domains and domain aliases. More info on that right here. Basically, you just need to click the Domains section in your admin console and click Remove next to all of the listed domains. Moving on, now it's time to disable the OAuth consumer key for your domain. That might sound like rocket science, but it's really easy to do, so just follow me. Click Security in your admin console, then Advanced Settings, Manage OAuth Domain Key, and then just uncheck the box. Cool. Next, it's time to uninstall all of your Marketplace apps, which you can read more about right here. Just click Marketplace apps in your dashboard, and then, one by one, click into each app and delete. By the way, turning off the app isn't the same as actually deleting it, so make sure you've officially deleted all of these apps. Okay, now the fun stuff. You're ready to cancel your Google App subscriptions. First, click Billing in your Admin Console dashboard. Here, you'll see a list of your subscriptions. If you have multiple subscriptions, you'll need to delete all of them. All you need to do is click the cancel icon and then proceed with the deletion. Easy, right? Just so you know, once you've deleted your last subscription, you'll be signed out of Google. This is totally normal. Just sign back in and agree to the terms of service. You're ready to officially delete your domain now. There's no turning back from here, Frodo. So once you've thrown your domain into Mount Doom, you can't return to the Shire. Yeah, I know, that analogy didn't quite work, but let's just roll with it. So, just click on Company Profile in your dashboard, and then click on Profile. Now, scroll down to the Accounts Deletion section. Then, all you need to do is click Delete this account, agree to the warning that you won't actually read, and then click Delete My Domain. There you have